right, Sarah and Mabel. I've called you here for possible disciplinary action. Why? What did we do? The list is too long. Were you going to find us? No, I'm putting you two to work in the complaint department at hard labor. Eh, what's so hard about that? The way the girls send in their complaints. How? Attached to rocks. <laughs> <laughs> the fabulous Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's the show that's got it all. Action, laughs, excitement, and the world's favorite feisty, funny females, the all-new Glow! We have got a glorious show today, fans. The sweetheart of Hog Hollow, Nebraska, Babe, the farmer's daughter, squares off against the rock and roll wrestler, Melody Trouble Vixen, MTV. It's the Avenue versus the street as the Park Avenue knockout, Roxy Asta, battles the fiery street fighter, Hollywood. Another episode of our own situation comedy, Life in the Glow House. Highlights from a match never seen on television before as America's team Liberty and Justice collide head-on with Daisy and Dementia in another glowing moment. And batten down the hatches for the big one, fans. 21 Glow Girls explode in a battle royal with $10,000 going to the winner. We'll be right back with all the action. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Tiffany Mellon here with all the latest glow gossip. <laughs> Item, Lightning has asked Zelda the Brain to help her fight evil. <laughs> she figures with Zelda's scientific genius, <laughs> she can isolate the criminal element. <laughs> Team partners Stinky and Sneaky aren't speaking to each other. <laughs> they got into a fight over who was going to take in the trash. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Item Roxy Astor recently had all of her feelings redone in platinum. <laughs> That's really putting your money where your mouth is. <laughs> you know, fans, I wasn't the first choice for this job. <laughs> Vicky Victory was a strong contender because of her gymnastics reporting. <laughs> the bosses really flipped for her. <laughs> ta -ta now. Base 
for tonight is from Los Angeles, California. She's the queen of rock and roll, Melody Trouble Vixen MTV. MTV's music was a deadly weapon, and now these girls are locked in a tug of war over that guitar. Woo! She monkey flips her with it. Hi, Glow fans, Motormouth Mike Morgan in the broadcast booth calling all the shots. Ooh, and Babe delivers a perfect one with that flying drop kick. Now Melody catches her in an arm drag. These two really tore into each other during last week's street fight. And the ruckers mocking the farm girl earlier didn't help matters. MTV has mockery and music down to a bad science. Dare we call it mock and roll? Whoa! Babe 360 to... Now it's rock and reel! She rolls her up for the pin. Nope, only a two count. Whoa, a flying body press downs her. What a surprise maneuver. Again, only a two count. The Nebraskan had better be on guard. She was so stunned that the rocker actually used a clean wrestling move. It almost cost her the fall. Ooh, she rams the multicolored mop into the turnbuckle. The hard rocker took a hard smash. She may think those bells she's hearing are background musicians. MTV's head has been shaken, rattled, and rolled. MTV thinks she's a big rock star. I think she's a big rock head. <laughs> Babe mounts the corner. And plants a foot in Melody's gut. <laughs> I didn't know it was planting season. And MTV may be a right for the taking. Wait, Hollywood coming to ringside. She breaks up the pin. She's had a war against the farmer's daughters. Tulsa leaps into even the odds. And that's like throwing gas on a fire. Suddenly we've got a Texas tornado on our hands. That won't stop these grapplers. They're out for blood. Hollywood wants Tulsa's head as a souvenir. Babe and MTV continuing right where they left off. You'd need a crowbar to separate them. And Hollywood may start brawling with the god. And she's picking his pocket at the same time. What do you do for pain, Dr. Grove? I have my mother-in-law come over.
country not help its farmers, especially since it was founded by them? Why do nations increase their nuclear weapon supply when they already have more than enough to do the job? Politicians have selective amnesia. They only remember us at election time. <laughs> Welcome back to Glow! Gorgeous ladies of wrestling! This is a single feature match. Introducing first from the streets of Los Angeles, Hollywood! You listen to what I got to say. If you step in the ring, step on your face. Then you know you have been disgraced. Yeah. Woo. 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 And dad, the nest. This just said, girl, never back down, because all she wants is the glow crown. Oh, yeah. yeah. what, what's this? She doesn't even know how to spell kicks. Okay? Well, I figured she's from LA. Hollywood, that was totally uncalled for. That was uncalled for, Hollywood. Hollywood is one game competitor. After brawling with Babe, Tulsa, and security, she's ready to take on Roxy Asta. Ooh, she slaps her across the face. And the street gal dumps Johnny C, probably putting a run in his best pantyhose. They lock up collar and elbow. A quick kick and arm drag downs the New Yorker. This match build is the Avenue versus the street. Roxy represents Park Avenue, and Hollywood will take any street. Ooh, a vicious flying elbow. Ooh, but she misses a second one. Now Asta corrals her foe. Ooh, a big clothesline almost splits her in two. The Manhattan girl steps up the attack with those savat-like kicks. She's putting her stump of approval on the Californian. Ooh, Hollywood gets out of dodge and Roxy jams herself. They'll both be lucky if they have a leg to stand on. She leaps over that rolling tackle and again. And Hollywood decks her with a clothesline. You know who takes out the Park Avenue trash? Anyone who has a date with Roxy Astor. <laughs> the street girl catching her breath outside the ropes. Remember, she came into this match right after another brawl. She pulls Roxy out. The sleek grappler loves to battle out of the ring. That's her turf. When Esther gets a head full of ring post. And the street fighter decides to show her to a front row seat. Unfortunately, there's a fan in it. Hollywood goes after her spray can. She promised to paint the town red and wants to start with Roxy's head. The Californian claims to have done many portraits. Sure, she smeared a lot of girls on the canvas. And this little game of cat and mouse may wind up with Asta getting counted out. New Yorker avoiding the spray. I guess that makes her an artful dodger. She boots both of her foes away. 
Now Hollywood trying to get her kicks in. Oh, she's dropped to the mat hard. And Roxy takes over. She corrals her. A reversal. Oh, and she gets a gut full of turnbuckle. Now, there's an upset stomach. Hollywood's wrestling techniques are definitely street material, just like her. Well, I plan on cleaning up the streets and using her hair as a mop. New Yorker holds her up and slams it down to the mat. Hollywood getting worn down. After all, this is a second match. But she catches Roxy with an arm drag. Don't count her out yet. Hollywood comes back more times than a homesick boomerang. She rocks her with a knee. Now a sledgehammer to the gut. The street gal's recuperative powers make the six million dollar man look like a buck and a quarter. Into the ropes. Ooh, a slashing right to the top of the head. Both of them jolted by the force of that blow. Into the ropes. Another right. No, a duck under go behind takedown. And she rolls Hollywood up for the pin. And Roxy just barely able to pull this one out. Maybe one of the glow girls will go dancing Saturday night if she doesn't have a fever. 1-900-909-4-G-L-O. Hey, John, it costs $2 the first minute and 45 cents each additional minute to call the glow girls. Hey, all the guys in the neighborhood have been calling the glow girls. Well, I haven't called. If I wanted your number, I could get it off the bathroom wall. You can't even dance. 1-900-909-4-G-L-O. Hello? You're on the air with Godiva, giving you all the bare facts. Hi. My boss said if I went out with him, he'd give me all the peanut butter I'd ever want. What do you think about that? It sounds to me like he's spreading it on a bit thick already. <laughs> Next caller. Yeah, baby. Listen, go out with me and I'll make your body move. You already make my skin crawl. <laughs> Next caller. Godiva, what's the most romantic song you've ever heard? I would have to say, Send in the Clowns. It reminds most women of their first husbands. <laughs> That's all for now, love. Talk to you soon. what I have to come home to. Pretty neat, ain't it? I don't think so. What's wrong? Do you have to be so lazy? What are you talking about? We just did all the shopping. The least you could do is help with the bags. Yeah! You know, she's right. Let's help bring in the bags. It's about time they started helping yeah. us out. Hey! What are you from the garbage. Best in Johnny C, huh? No, I mean real garbage. The sanitation truck hasn't come and that stuff is beginning to pile up. It's been days since there's been a pickup. Yeah, how do you two stand it? You stay up wind and soak your mask in Lysol. <laughs> yeah, that stuff is beginning to draw flies. Big deal. Mountain Fiji's been doing that for years. <laughs> I'm going to call the sanitation department right now. Good. Tell them Vicky Victory is ready to go. <laughs> Hello, sanitation? What do you mean you're going to put me on hold? Don't give me any of your trash. I'm calling about my trash. 
Oh, yeah? That's a bunch of garbage. What happened? I couldn't even get through. The head of sanitation is off on a fact-finding trip. Well, he must be picking up something, cause it sure ain't garbage. I ought to start a petition to oust the head of sanitation. It won't work. He's pals with the mayor. Then I'll oust him, too. You can't fight City Hall. Just watch me. Big Bad Mom is gonna challenge the mayor. I'm throwing my hat into the ring. You gonna join the circus? Not that kind of ring. I mean the political arena. I'm gonna run for mayor. All right, mine! Yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is challenge him to a debate. Really? Yeah, and let's see if he takes debate. Are you sure you're ready for this? What do you mean? Are you kidding? I'm corrupt. I lie. I cheat. I steal. I'm perfect for politics. You gotta vote. Yeah, look out, world. Here comes big, bad mayor. Yeah! Hi, everybody. Tiffany Mellon taking a break from the world of gossip to host the great debate. You know, I'm no newcomer to politics. I have a background in foreign affairs. After all, I've had enough of them. <laughs> Today's debate is between the incumbent and the immense. The candidates are Mayor Shrub and Big Bad Mama. Big Bad Mama, would you like to start with an address? Yes, my address is 165 Main Street. Now, can we cut the bull and get down to business? Yes. Would you like to start with an address, Mayor Shrub? Yes, Tiffany. My friends, and I call you that because you are. We've been through some tough times these past four years, but we have survived. And now, under my leadership, we can look forward to a kinder, gentler city. We'll see how kinder and gentler when I come over there and kick your butt. May I remind you that this is the political arena, not the wrestling one. Excuse me, but I just want to get down to the issues. Very well. Is there one issue in particular you'd like to discuss? Yes, I come to you as a homeowner. She looks more like the home. <laughs> Say what? Mayor Shrub, please. I'm sorry, but too many people have claimed I'm a wimp, and I had to get her back for that kick your butt line. Yes, I see, but Big Bad Mama does have the floor. That's right, I've got the floor. Now, as I was saying, I come to you with a problem that I know is facing all homeowners, and I plan on changing it. I'm talking out with the old, in with the new. I'm talking garbage. You see, friends, the nerve of my opponent to actually come here and admit she's talking garbage to you. That's not what I meant. Of course, now she's trying to cover it up. Well, I won't stand for it. Read my lips. You're gonna read my fist in a minute. Mama, Mayor, calm down, please. When I threw my hat in the ring, I should have threw you out. I'm afraid we're running out of time. What do you mean? I had the floor. And it almost buckled under all that weight. <laughs> I ought to pound you right here. Quiet. Since Big Bad Mama had the floor, Mayor Shrub will not take it for closing remarks. My friends, together we've helped make this city great again. And with your help, we can continue to get the job done. From where I stand, I can see a thousand points of light. You could see them too, if Big Bad Mama didn't block out the sun. That did it! I'm afraid our time has run out, and it looks like the mayor's has as well. This already looks like a brutal race. Election's all over now. Yep. How many votes did Big Bad Mama finally wind up with? Well, that's bad. Especially since we voted twice. Well, you almost made it, Mama. 
I only missed by a million votes. You'll be next time. Nah, there won't be a next time. I'm through with politics. You mean the mayor will run unopposed next time? After the pounding I gave him, I doubt if he can run anywhere. But to show there was no hard feelings, I've already sent him my congratulations on his re-election. Well, it's too bad you never got that garbage issue cleared up. I think I did for a while anyway. How did you manage that? When I sent him my congratulations, I sent him my garbage too. <laughs> never seen on television. The evil dwarf Gremlina hoping to add justice to her stable. And the goon squad seems out of it already. Gremlina may have crawled out from under a rock, but she's got plenty of them left in her head. We have a new tag team here at GLOW, Liberty and Justice. Okay, and they love America and all it stands for, like free enterprise. So, I talked them into working for free, for our enterprise. The ref barely able to disarm dementia of her axe. It's a souvenir of her days as a hack writer. The vile maggot gremlina forced Daisy to be a slave and dementia to do her dirty work. She's so evil Freddy Krueger has nightmares about her. The hatchet lady working over Liberty. Wow, what a clothesline. Dementia applying a textbook maneuver. But the rest of the pages must have been stuck together. She's got no follow-up. The Patriot trying to rouse herself. And she catches her with a leg sweep. And now that Liberty's got a foothold, she doesn't want to give it up. Into the ropes. And she tells a foe to get your axe together with a big backdrop. Now she corrals her. And pulls her up and into an airplane spin. She's moving faster than a top with a sugar fit. She dumps her down. But Dementia doesn't know where she is. She wants to tag Justice. Oh, but Justice tags her instead. And Liberty goes for the pin. The ex lady threw her off with a face rake. Gremlina must like that kind of maneuver. In her bedtime stories, the dragon always won.
Dementia decides to make a good impression on Liberty's throat. And this must be a moving experience because the Patriot is all choked up. The hatchet lady, still disoriented. I think she had a head in the clouds and left it there. She goes for the throat again. But Liberty has other ideas. Well, what a spine breaker! Dementia's spine must be looking for the fire exit after that. The All-American takes over with a hip toss. And now she goes after Gremlina. Daisy charges in and clubs her. The Big Flower swore to protect the dwarf after she took over her debts. Ooh, a big boot drops her. If she did that to Gremlina, she'd be orbiting Saturn. Again? No! Liberty rolls out and trips her up. She tags in Justice, who says, pick on somebody your own size. Me! A big deal. Could there be any other kind? Both gals over six feet, and I'd like to see Gremlina six feet under. Daisy whips her to the corner. And Monkey tosses her the length of the ring. Ooh, and the big flower gives her some elbow room, too. Johnny C enjoying this match. Oh, my mistake. He was smiling so wide just so he could put on some fresh lipstick. Gremlina, the human furball, knows not to upset Johnny C. If she does, he'll douse her with his perfume. Justice goes for the pin. But Dementia breaks it up. And now Liberty comes in to ward her off. She hurls her out of the ring. The big flower taking advantage of this turnaround. A reversal. Oh, slingshotting her off the ropes. She hauls her up. And sets for a body slam. Oh, she almost planted Daisy. And she gets the drop on her with the leg drop. Justice puts her away. Gremlina crying for sympathy like a wounded bird. Yeah, a baby vulture. The winners of the match, Liberty and Justice. Can you make a sentence using the word ruffian? Okay. If he ain't ruffian with me! <laughs> what is your bounty, babe? Well, I don't know, but I think he used to live in an egg. What? Live in an egg? Yeah, he told me he just broke out of his shell. <laughs> what does your boat do? Well, he plays baseball in Japan. Really? How exciting. That's right. He told me he pitches a lot of woo. Oh. <laughs> Top 
April, the last glow girl standing takes home ten thousand dollars. We're going to sing first from Coventry, England, Godiva. of this battle royal. He was lucky to sneak out in one piece. Ha! <laughs> Aunt Kitty rips his jacket right into two pieces. The dainty one is beside himself. This was his favorite outfit, except for his designer evening gown. The ring is a crush of grapplers, and the action gets hotter next week as the undefeated tag team of Daisy and Beastie take on the challenge of the superhero Lightning and the glow champion Cheyenne Cher. Plus, the golden girl, Tiffany Mellon, battles the voodoo queen, Big Bad Mama. But right now, this one is a powder keg. Each girl hoping to take home the $10,000 grand prize. Beastie hitches a ride on Mountain Fiji. That's a real piggy on her back. Stinky and Sneaky work over Lightning and Zelda. Good teamwork be the key to taking this match. Ah, oh, there's no set formula for victory here. How can there be when the odds are 20 to 1? So far, no one has been eliminated, and this clash will go on until there's only one girl left standing. And the Park Avenue knockouts dump the widow in black. Star and Daisy double team Tulsa. The rodeo was never like this, and that's no bull. The girls tearing into each other, and I would have thought Stinky's odor would have cleared out half of them by now. Fiji and Mama go at it toe-to-toe -to -toe in the center of the ring. These giants have got to be considered the favorites in this match. Who's going to throw them over the ropes? This match, truly a universal contest. We've got grapplers in there from Russia, Great Britain, the U.S., the cosmos, the future, and the comic book pages. I'd like to see all the travel vouchers for this one. Hollywood drags Zelda to the ropes, and MTV runs over to join her. The West Coast Connection hoping to dump the brain. They want the Rhodes Scholar to hit the roads. And Beastie dumps lightning. And Tiffany follows the leader with Star. Slowly, the numbers have been going down. And the Roadhog, hoping Tulsa's number is up. But she and Babe get their kicks in. Hollywood eliminates the brain. Whoa, Fiji dumps the street girl over the ropes. 
and it's a four-pronged attack on the mountain. Fiji close to being taken off her feet for the first time ever. No, the giant of the ring breaks free. She's won more battles royal than any other lady grappler. MTV taunts her with her Samoan rap. And she scoots out while Tanya and Mama pound away on their foe. What's this? The country girls con Beastie into waving for the camera. And they make waves with some shots to the gut. Tiffany has Daisy locked by her long tresses. Now that's a hair raid that gets to the root of the problem. And MTV is choking out Zelda with Fiji's rap. The mountain sees her friend's plight. And the giant of the ring eliminates herself to come to a pal's aid. The brawl continues on, and the combatants must be breathing easier with the mountain gone. Vicky leaps at Godiva, but the Briton holds on. She's ready to dump her. No, they both go over. You can't win this one, Godiva. She stole a battle royal once by hiding out of the ring until almost everyone was eliminated. The British bundle spent more time outside than the audience. The country girls work over Daisy, and the big flower may find herself mowed down. Tanya and MTV double-team Cheyenne Chair, and that must be music to Melody's ears. Whoa, Tiffany drop kicks Beastie out. The eyesore eliminated. And Tulsa and Babe dump Daisy. Mama squashes the New Yorker. She charges again, and Tiffany leaps out of the way, but she just eliminated herself. Uh-oh. The country girls are beating the borscht out of Major Tanya. And the voodoo queen eliminates Cheyenne Chair. And then there were five. Now Kitty's killers decide to divide and conquer. Mama holds Babe up and slams her over the ropes. Whoa, Tanya and MTV both get taken for a ride. Babe holding onto the voodoo queen. Tulsa hits her with a drop kick. Mama's hung up in the ropes. And the farm girl helps her over, leaving the rodeo gal the sole survivor. And she's got 10,000 reasons to smile. We both know I'm the fairest girl in glow. When it comes to beauty, Roxy's won the cup. It's amazing what you can do with all that makeup. <laughs> Hey, I'm Hollywood. Sure, I like to party, but I won't drink and drive. Alcohol in your system dulls your senses. If you think you can handle a car after a few drinks, you're making a mistake. A grave mistake. Are Hollywood's clothes expensive? Nope. They were a steal! <laughs> I heard Babe spent the night in jail. Yeah, that was a pig in the poke. <laughs> <laughs> Melody says she was born on a stage. She should have been born under one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I see they found one that fits you, huh? Oh, and look at yours. It's all wrinkled. Oh, silly me, that's not your shirt. The Glow Girls are going to give you the shirts off the backs. Glow Good Girls, Glow Bad Girls, or our world-famous Glow logo. Order today. No, Dad, we didn't make any money tonight, but things are going pretty good. Listen, there's even talk of a Glow movie. What do you mean the only way I'm going to make it big in the movies is to have the concession stand? Hello? Hello? What did you want to see me about? Your order, Stinky. I've heard it all before. Not this. I think we could go into business together. How? Well, your smell is a definite moneymaker. I knew it. What do I got to do? Just show up. The nose plugs will sell themselves. Why you? Hey, 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 h